Hello friends and welcome to a different type of video for me. I'll be saying I'm going to do some instructional videos and uh, I'm going to start at the very basic and formatting the drive. And it's a really easy process. Works very similar on all Windows computers. And to do it you just go onto the start menu which is the bottom left hand side of the screen. Left click. On computer instead of doing the normal left click, if you right click, go down to manage, left click that. Uh, come down, I'll make this full size come down on this window to disk management left click on there it takes a few seconds and you have a layout of the drives on your system I have three on mine uh, this is a terabit one uh, I think that's a 250 supposedly and this is my 120 SSD half of it's being used at the moment for my operating system and has made a massive difference to the uh, startup speed but it's this half here the black line means it's unallocated and I'm just going to format that drive. So I'm going to hover over it and right click, click on new simple volume, left click. I'll just enlarge this so you can see what I'm doing. Click next and now you get to pick the size of the drive. Obviously I'm going to use the full 51.79 gigabit that's left, uh, which is 53,029 megabits. If you want to make it smaller, say I want to make a 30 gig drive, so you do the math. 30 times 1024 which is a true gigabit is 30,720 and then put that number in there as it is I'm happy with that so I'm going to click next uh, assign the following letter yeah I'm just going to put on I'm just going to make this drive G because uh, my other system has the exact same layout and it sort of it gets me getting confused between computers uh, click next and now I'm going to change the name of this drive because I know exactly what it is it's an SSD games drive uh, if it isn't already I would suggest clicking perform a quick format otherwise you could be here for quite some time then click next um, review all the details so it's a simple volume how big it's going to be the path uh, what you're going to call it click finish a few seconds and it's done there you go nice and easy now I'm going to do a second bit on this drive and that is basically I'm going to put my Skyrim game on it because I've been doing a playthrough of Skyrim I want to put Skyrim onto an SSD to speed up load times and I just want to do it and I'm doing this for those people especially if you have a download limit you don't no point downloading the full 13 gig of this game again so I'll show you how to do it in a slightly different way first thing I need to do is to register that drive I've just had formatted with Steam so I'm going to go up to Steam left click go down to settings go down to downloads and then click on steam library folders left click that add a folder go up to the C drive bits and the down arrow on the side of there left click again go to G click new folder it comes up with steam library and that's exactly what I want to add click OK select it and it's already there so now Steam knows that you have a drive on your computer on G and has put a Steam library in it for you the reason that's important is because Steam will only recognize games if they're in a specific place it likes to have things where it knows it's going to be like all computers when it comes to looking for things unless it's where it's supposed to be it ignores it same as it's got a spelling mistake it will ignore it so you need to do certain things and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my HDD games standard hard drive I'm going to open that I'll show you what, the, what I mean by this layout. As you can see, it says Steam Library. Double click on that, and it says Steam Apps. Double click again, and you get a few more this time. There's Common, Downloading, Temp, Workshop, and a few loose files. It's in the Common file. As you can see, this is where my games are. Uh, 3D Mac is just a uh, benchmarking tool, and Loot is something you use in modded games. I'll explain those later when I'm doing a, uh, a modding instructional. But for the time being, it's this Skyrim game here. I want to move that across to my other drive. Now, unfortunately, or in my case fortunately, my game is modded. And if I go into Skyrim, I'll show you what I mean. Mod Organizer is in here. Uh, it's recommended that you do this when you install Mod Organizer. You stick it in the file of the game that you can do in it for. I also have my Sweet Effects, which is my um, e not an EMB that I'm using, and uh, the SKC files. Now, I don't want to move those across. I want it to be a totally vanilla version of the game 
Now I can go without moving the official files that are in here, like the Skyrim XA, Skyrim Launcher XA, and the high medium and uh, other innies that are in here, and a few other bits and pieces, because they're not that big, they're only about 200 meg. However, the data folder, which is where the main store of the game is, is a lot bigger. I don't know if you saw that then. That is, right click, go down to properties, nearly 13 gigs. So if you're on a 20 gig download limit, that's more than half your limit gone in one go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer my data folder across and then install the rest of Skyrim around it. And I'm going to show you how you do that right now. So I'm going to open up my G drive. As you can see, it already has a Steam library on it. And I will put it up here and make it bigger. Just so you can see what I'm doing. Now if you imagine in the background, there is computer, HDD games E, Steam library, Steam apps, common, Skyrim. And I want that that folder layout to match on here. Because that's how Steam likes it to happen. So I'm going to go into my Steam library, double clicking. And I'm going to create a new folder in here. And I'm going to call it Steam Apps. So first of all, new folder. Right click. Come down to where it says new. Hover over it and then go across to where it says folder. Left click. And you'll get a new folder. And I'm going to call that folder Steam Apps. You'll notice the spelling is exactly the same as up here. Click return. And now I have a, a Steam Apps inside a Steam Library folder. I then need to go into the Steam Apps and create a common folder. So once again, right click, come down to new, across the folder, left click. I'm going to call it common. No capital letter, you'll notice. And then if you look on my other in the background, it says Skyrim. So I need to go once again into common and create a file called Skyrim. If you do not have a modded game, if your game is not modded in the slightest, you could just copy from the common, you could just copy the whole of that across. Or you could even cut it straight across. I would recommend copy. So you would go onto it, you would uh, right click and you would copy it. And then you'd go to the file layout you just created and paste it in there. I can't do that because like I say, I do not want to move all of that across. I just want to move certain parts of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this new folder that I'm going to call Skyrim. Skyrim, remembering capital S. And now to all intents and purposes, that will be recognized by Steam as a Skyrim folder. And they will look at it and if there's nothing in it, they will download the game into it. However, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to do half that work for them. I'm going to take this data folder, right click, go down to copy, left click. Then I'm going to go to my G drive, go into the Skyrim folder. I'm going to paste it in here. Right click, down to paste, left click. And it's going to take a few minutes. I'll see you in a minute. That's it. That's all just cut, carried over now. I'm just going to go in and delete this out of here for the time being. It doesn't need to be there. It's just the TS5 edit backups. I'll tell you what those are when we do the TS5 edit. Okay, don't worry about that right now. Uh, so yeah, most of the game's there. Now all I need to do is cheat and go to where it was originally, back in this folder. I'm going to change the name of that game ever so slightly. Click on it, then right click on it, come down to rename and put modded in brackets it doesn't matter if it's in brackets i couldn't do anything it's just so i know that that's my modded game okay so hit return and now i'm going to go to steam onto my skyrim game right click go down to properties left click and then go to local files i'm going to check that i'm on the e drive and i'm going to delete local game content i could have done it from the menu earlier on i just like to do it this way so i see it all in uh, delete local content. This would delete the Elder Scrolls game on my computer. No, it won't. I've made it so you can't do it. I will hit delete. And now it will think it's just deleted my game, which it hasn't. My Skyrim game is still there. Because I've changed the way it's written, it didn't recognize it. Because as I said, computers can be very stupid at times. I'm going to go back to Steam. And as you can see, it says stream up here. 
That's because not 20 foot from where I'm stood, my other PC is running and it has Elder Scrolls on there. But I can stream the game with no mods on it, but if I want to play it modded and mod the game up, I need to have a copy on this computer, so I need to install it. So I'm going to hit this little arrow, click install on this machine, then click install. And it's going to say it needs all this information. I want to install it. As you can see, G drive's not there. I just need to go down a little bit more. It's there, look, G. Click next. And it will now say discovering existing files for the Elder Scrolls Skyrim. And it will now go and have a look at the files that are on that drive and will download the ones that aren't already there. So basically what should be a nearly 14 gig download will become a 0.2 gig download. Once again, back after the edit. So it's finished discovering things and now it's saying it's going to download the rest of the game. So I'm going to click finish and it will now download the rest of the uh, information that it needs for the Skyrim game. And there you go. Just so you'll notice that Skyrim has finished downloading and let's go to the folder and double check. Yep, that looks right to me. All the files are there. Like I said, that file is 12.8 gigabytes and the rest of the game is 133 megabits. So if you're on a download limit and you are just moving the game, if you do it this way, it will save time and your download limit. If you have the disk version, then obviously you can do what you want. You can unload, uninstall and reinstall as you want from the disk. I have a Steam version and therefore this is the easiest way for me to do it. Right, now unfortunately I cannot use this copy of Skyrim yet because if I try and load any of my saves to it, it will just crash because it isn't modded up to the level where my other game is. So I now need to tell Steam that actually I want to use the other version of Skyrim and not this one. So I need to change the title of this one to go down to rename. And I'm going to call this one, in brackets, unmodded. Close brackets, hit return, and then I go back to Steam and tell it, I don't want that version, I want the other version back. I will go down to my Skyrim, I will right click, I will delete local content. It will say, do you want to delete the game? Yes, I do. But it can't, because of course, it can't read the unmodded bit, so it doesn't read it. So I have now got this version, the unmodded version, which is all there. And I have my modded version, which is also all there. I now need to go to Steam and tell it to install it again, please. And this time I want it on E, which is there. Next. And we'll go back through the discovering. Ahaha. No, 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 no. I got ahead of myself. I got ahead of myself. I need to go back and change the name of this version to just plain old-fashioned Skyrim. So I'm going to drag through, delete, return, go to Steam. So can you please install that game for me on my E drive. Thank you. And it's discovering files. And once again, It'll go through all this little process and tell me in a couple of minutes it's reinstalled it. Right, so that's my Skyrim back on my hard disk drive back being as the one that's in use and the one that I'll be continuing to use for my playthroughs until I have the, uh, the version on the SSD up and running properly. I hope you'll join me on the next videos when I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to start adding things like Mod Organizer and the mods that I'm using to that drive and therefore we can start using that one. For now... Thanks for watching.